Oh, well, hello there. <laughs> it's the old man and his mirage. Although today I've started calling her Mira for short. I kind of liked it. A bit of a nickname, shall we say. Um, she did really well today. Uh, guess I should let you know where I'm at. And you'll notice I've got the, the format a little better on the, the phone here, okay? Uh, you know, I'm old. I don't pick up on this stuff, but this is the proper way to do it. Uh, anyways, <clears throat> maybe this can help you figure out where I'm at. I don't know if you can see that right there. That is the St. Augustine Lighthouse in the background. Uh, and this is what's known as Salt Run. I am in Salt Run, St. Augustine. Um, let's see, this is my uh, second night, third night on the boat. This will be my third night, which is pretty cool. Yeah, man, I wish I had a lot more. But anyways, obviously, uh, we're getting the boat back home to Jacksonville. Uh, probably got at least one more night. Um because in Jacksonville, there is a bridge being worked on. I probably won't make the last opening of the day. And uh, so I'll probably have to spend the night there somewhere close to it and wait for the morning opening. But uh, it's been an interesting journey. Boat has just done fantastic. Um, I couldn't be happier. I uh, wish I could have sailed or some. I still haven't even pulled up the first sail. No, I've just been solely focused on getting her home, um, and that's what we're doing, uh, is getting her home. Um, but uh, I'll give you a little slightly different view here of where we're at. Um, but anyways, working on getting her home. Um, last night was really interesting in Daytona. <laughs> Ran aground. Oh, I got through the last bridge that I had to open, okay? Um, I think there was, I don't know what it was, Main Street Bridge maybe, I don't know. But anyways, I, I wanted to get past all the bridges I had to open so I didn't have to deal with that first thing in the morning. And I got past it, and I was going to go past another one, a fixed bridge, 65 foot, so not a problem. Um, I was going to get past that and anchor on the other side of it, but I saw a lot of sailboats, over on the east side of the waterway, I said, okay, I'll go up in there. And I tried to tuck up in behind them a little bit. Yeah, ran out of water. So anyways, ran aground, not hard or anything because I was just barely moving. Um, but uh, had to wait, uh, fortunately it was low tide. So I had to wait for the tide to come up. I took the dinghy, pumped it up. Uh, there's the dinghy on top of the cabin um, folded back up at the moment but anyways I took the dinghy pumped it up uh, kedged out an anchor with all 150 feet of line and 20 feet of chain I've got kedged it out uh, to the proper side to the channel side and just kind of waited ran it back to a winch here in the cockpit and uh, put some tension on it and basically um, I worked myself to death a little bit trying to winch myself off and I finally said, okay, this is silly. Um, actually ended up re-kedging the anchor, okay, went out in the dinghy a second time, picked it up, pulled it into a better position, put some tension on it and just waited and uh, that worked fine. It was really anticlimactic is the proper word. It was a non-event. Um, <laughs> uh, about an hour after supposedly low tide I don't know, the, uh, it was interesting um, but uh, it just kind of pulled itself off and I chugged it around and it swung around to the proper side with the current and everything and, uh, and all was good so a lot of worry over nothing for a moment um, but uh, I had texted the uh, owner or he had texted me actually and said, how's it going? How you doing? A uh, previous owner. And uh, I told him my troubles and he, you know, made some suggestions as far as the engine. Because he's very familiar with his own engine, obviously. Um, although I've not had the oil or transmission uh, 
oil usage that he indicated. It doesn't seem to be as much. I'll find out in the morning again because it was a long day. Uh, we probably motored for 10 hours today. Yeah, good 10 hours of motoring. Um, but anyway, so uh, he suggested, you know, you might want to check the screen um, for the raw water intake because, uh, you know, obviously when you're that close to the bottom, you can suck, them, suck up some stuff there. But uh, anyways, um, it was fine. Uh, wasn't bad. I went ahead and cleaned it up. It was all good. Um, five o'clock somewhere. And uh, this is uh, Crown and Ginger Ale, one of my favorites. And we're having this before some more of those famous chicken quesadillas that I like. Had spaghetti last night. Um, had a leftover burger on the first night. Um, but tonight we're going to go all out and make those chicken quesadillas, have a beer. Probably have some more crown. Don't have any more ginger ale, so it's just straight shots. But I'm in a very secure little anchorage here. Uh, very calm. Uh, should be just a great night. Just a great night. I'm, I'm so looking forward to a good night's sleep after last night. Because <laughs> that was just bad, man. That was just bad. Uh, so, anyways. Um, what else? Oh had some dolphins wish I could have filmed this but had some dolphins come up right beside the boat and freaked me out really they just kind of do their blowing thing like just right next to the boat like whoa what the heck was that man you know um, just for not even hardly 20 seconds at that yeah it was but it was really cool really nice spot there um, Fuel usage is just uh, like the uh, like a lot of people say about a third of a gallon an hour. Just amazing fuel burn on this 13 and a half horsepower Volvo. Um, I'd like to replace it with the Beta 14 um, at some point because you just can't rebuild these things. It's too expensive. The, the money you'd spend on rebuilding, you might as well just put a new engine in. Everything will be fresh. Uh, they talk about the raw water channels just being really. Um, wiped out you know after all these years on these things so we're gonna go with that um, but uh, yep been really good I'm gonna blow up the dinghy again in the morning and go over to the conch house marina that way over there um, oh, you can't really see anything with it but it's it's over there where all those lights are uh, but the conch house marina I've got to get some ice oh there's actually a refrigeration unit on this boat, but it's non-working, like a, like a lot of things. <laughs> needs TLC. Mira needs TLC. Miss Mirage. Miss Mira Mirage. That's, yeah, I like it. That's, that's where we're going with here. Um, let's see. Was there anything else? We ran aground. We saw some dolphins. I'm wondering if I'm dragging anchor, but I don't think so. I think feel pretty secure but you know what I'm not even worried about it if I'm dragging anchor a little bit you know by the time I go to bed if it looks like I'm closer to a little I got a little buoy right right over here I don't know if you can see it oh there oh look it's even got a flashing light where's that flashing light at right behind me there somewhere there it is there flash there we can back it up a second anyways if I get too close to that I'll just crank up the motor and re-anchor I'm not even worried about it. Ugh. After getting off last night like that, I'm not even worried about it. <laughs> it's going pretty smooth. Uh, really looking forward to some serious adventure with this boat, man. Uh, so anyways, I'll, I'll keep up the vids. Um, oh, engine was making a funny noise earlier today, and I was kind of happy about this. Um, uh, I, I hear this like a, a little metallic ringing thing, like something's vibrating. And uh, it turned out to be a bolt on the alternator. Touched it, engine running, not a big deal, just did it. And it stopped. I was like, oh, look, there's that. So I bust out the uh, socket set, you know, and in the channel while we're motoring along, I'm tightening up this bolt, but it's really not a big deal. It's just one of those things you do as a, as, you know, while you're boating. As a single hander, you know, you gotta you gotta be on top of everything, gotta do it all yourself. Thank goodness for an autopilot. This boat's got a great ST two thousand autopilot. Ray Marine used to be Auto Helm, now it's Ray Marine. 
um, but an ST2000, very good autopilot, handles this boat fine. It's a 9,000 pound boat, so you need a good autopilot, but, uh, hey, let's see, anything else? I don't think there's anything else, man. All is good. Just a, just a great day. Um, been cold. I'm going to be taking a shower in the cockpit as soon as it gets full dark again. I've got the bag sitting next to the engine now. It kind of warmed up during the day, but as you can see in the overhead there, it's mostly cloudy. It's been mostly cloudy. Some spots of sun. It warmed up a little bit with my little sun shower. And uh, I actually got a different one because I didn't like the old one. Uh, but I got a new one and we're going to give it a try because I'd really like to wash my funky butt and put on some fresh undies. <laughs> right on, right on. So, all is good. Uh, yeah, I think it's almost time for some, for some quesadilla. Chicken quesadilla. Cheesy chicken quesadilla. All right, all right. All right, old man and his mirage. Just gonna give her a little pat here. I wanna see. Oh, she's so smooth, baby. Anyways, old man and his mirage. <laughs>